With me is retired Brigadier Nikki Moffat, the most senior woman in the British Army until her retirement after 27 years in 2012. And from Toronto, retired Major Judith Webb, the first woman to command an all-male field force squadron. Good evening to both of you. Um, is uh, Richard Dannett right? It's not a role for women, close combat. I absolutely respect the operational views of Lord Dannett. Um, but I do disagree uh, on his observations that it is no place for women. In my experience, no man is sent into battle without extensive training, both as an individual and also within a combat team. So you feel that women can be snipers, women can do close-to-close -close combat, women can wield bayonets? I think women should be judged on the basis of their capability, not on the basis of their gender. Um, and therefore, if women want to step up to the challenge of service in the combat arms, uh, I'm not really sure why their gender should simply exclude well, them. Ma Major Webb, surely women are as capable as men. Women certainly have the courage uh, of men, and it's nothing to do with that. And there are many aspects that uh, I don't agree with Richard Dannett. But we are not, we are not the same. We do not have the same physical capability of men. And I am concerned that women's, the standards of physical fitness will be reduced for reasons of gender equality. And uh, uh, you know, the British Army has a reputation of being one of the, the, the best and the fittest in the world. And well, I would hate to think that to include women, those standards are reduced. So, and we so are those standards and are I, reduced? So can I just ask, does that mean that you think, for example, that the effectiveness of a unit could be compromised if women's physical fitness, as you see it, was not sufficient to the men's? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, I mean, you know, we're talking about women having to carry, or uh, an infantry soldier having to, to carry a pack of perhaps 65 kilos. There's a case of a, an American engineering officer, Captain Katie Petronio, who served in both Iraq and in Afghanistan and has suffered permanent physical damage because of the weights that she had to carry over an extended period. And uh, I think we have to accept that women do a fantastic job in, in so many roles. Yes, they're on the front line and, and yes, they do a good job and there are very good careers for them. But, what but you I seem do not to, believe that there are careers. For them. What you seem to be saying that even carrying that pack was too much for us, even the roles they're performing just now can be detrimental to their health. Well, we're talking about yeah. infantry soldiering having right. to carry those. So sort of let, let me just put and, that. Let and, me just put that back here. Yeah. That really, you know, women are not physically as capable as men for soldiering. Yeah, I mean, I really don't understand this line of argument. Um, the the last review that was carried out by the Ministry of Defence in 2010 um, uh, didn't actually have significant concerns about the strength of women. Um, the issue was about team dynamics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Look at our female Olympians. You know, who wants to get into a ring with, with, the, with the boxer Nicola Adams? Um, you know, whether you're a man or a woman, that's actually quite a challenging prospect. There are some women who are strong enough, capable enough, uh, aggressive enough. Mm -hmm. uh, some women who've got the, the, the sort of uh, um, uh, physical... You need aggression. You need aggression. You yep. absolutely need, um, need aggression. Uh, the Defence Secretary has made quite clear that there is no question of lowering standards or of damaging operational capability. Now, what about um, the idea that women uh, are as aggressive as men? Is there a, an emotional difference here, do you think, uh, Judith Webb? Uh, I think that argument is probably do doesn't hold water now because women have, have proved uh, in many circumstances. But I, but I do say, why don't we have women in male, combat, um, in male rugby teams? You know, I mean, we, we don't, nobody would consider having a woman playing in a rugby team, in a male rugby team, or male rugby team, would they? Because she doesn't have the but, same physical strength to withstand that sort of, but that, not but combat, you, but it's almost combat, isn't it? But if you apply that argument, you could apply that argument to a lot of other things. You might, surely it's very concerning to you that, you that you actually think that women, okay, they play a different role, but they actually can't play a full role in the army, is what you're suggesting. 
Well, women play a very full role in the army. You know, there's, you know, just because you're not an infantry soldier doesn't mean you play a full. You don't play a full role in the army. There are plenty of male soldiers who never get, uh, who are not infantry soldiers. Um, you know, you play a very full role. If there is an argument to be had, I think there should be more openings for senior uh, officers and senior roles. Um, within the army for women and, and I do think that there's a, a, a bit of a mafia in the fact that the chief of the general staff, chief of the defence staff has only ever been someone from a teeth arm would you, and, uh, uh, and, and I think... Well, would you like to have, I guess, Nikki, would you like to have seen um, close combat? Would that have been something for your career that you would have welcomed? Um, actually for me personally um, it wouldn't uh, I mean, it's very difficult to answer that question because I joined the army 27 years ago. So, um, you know, my thinking was very different then because I was excluded from so many mm. roles. Um, but I think probably it wouldn't have been a route down which I would have gone. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that I don't think that these, um, uh, you know, extraordinarily physically capable, competent, professional women who want to have the opportunity to serve the nation though? in these... They, I mean, there is a frustration. Um, whether or not women want to serve in the combat arms, to have an exclusion that is based purely on gender um, for, an, for, an, for an army who's one of, the, one of the core values of the army is respect for others, I think it's really disrespectful to women to say, you can do these things, but you can't do those things.